What's going on guys? I'm a few days late on it, but this is October's cheap gym fragrance rotation. As a lot of you know, and some of you may not, I prefer the cheaper, weaker performing, more inoffensive freshies to rock to the gym. Because I like to spray something for everything in the gym. It's nothing short of something I like to spray a fragrance for. So it's more of a psychological thing. I just like something fresh and clean. In this video, we're going over the nine fragrances I wore this past month. It was a few more than the previous month. Some made just a random one-off and some I keep going back to. But I want to talk to you about them. So stay tuned. Starting with the one that I wore the most this month, I had to wear this at least six or seven times. Um, it's just an addictive scent profile to me. It is from Kenneth Cole. It's called Vintage Black. So with Kenneth Cole Vintage Black, there we go, it's focused. This is most notable for being relatable in scent profile to Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's, the blue bottle. God, this smells good. Probably the most popular Tommy Bahama fragrance. At least to me it is anyways. This has that lime, tequila, sea salt type of smell, that margarita on the rocks type of smell, that tropical fruity drink that St. Bart's is known for. This is pretty much a dead ringer for it. It's almost one-to-one. -one. And it's on the weaker side. It's a little bit weaker, believe it or not, than the Tommy Bahama fragrance, which is a lower oil concentration. That's an Eau de Cologne. This is an Eau de Toilette. And that one performs better. I get about three, maybe four hours out of this. I get like six hours out of the other one. But point being, I like to rock this one to the gym. It's not loud. It's not in your face. It's so enjoyable to smell, especially in that first 30, 45 minutes when I can really smell myself just from the three sprays that I wear when I put a fragrance on for the gym, which is each side of the neck and one on the back of the neck. This is just a delight, and that's why I keep rocking it because I love smelling this one on myself, and it definitely did the trick. It's the one I just kept going back to this month. If you have it, Dust it off, pull it out, and spray it, because it's definitely some good stuff for the gym. Kenneth Cole, Vintage Black. This next one is the fragrance I wore the most besides Kenneth Cole Black, Vintage Black. Um, I keep going back to it. I actually just recently did a full review on it. It keeps showing up in the weekly rotation as an out-of-the-shower fragrance. We're talking about Jaguar Pace Accelerate. You can see that juice level just rapidly dropping, because I keep wearing it. It's mouth-watering, airy, and fresh citrus at the top. A slightly smoked earthy tone to this vetiver that gets pretty fresh and woody for the most part with a nice peppery fresh spicy kick a lot of black pepper here I'm still surprised at how much I enjoy this fragrance this is so much better than the original there's more going on here I like the original Jaguar Pace I love Pace Accelerate I don't think it's the greatest fragrance in sliced bread but I do think it's a super underrated under the radar cheap fragrance that more people should give a shot if you like fresh and fresh spicy fragrances. Watery and airy, peppery spice. If you like those things, you'll probably like this. Not super synthetic, doesn't smell super cheap, though it is like 20 some odd dollars. I'm glad I got 100 ml of this, do three sprays. This one is probably the best performer in this video as far as longevity. I get around five hours out of it. Um, it does a good job and it's pretty loud in the first hour for sure. Uh, but, I mean, I take my time drinking my pre-workout, playing on YouTube, doing all my morning stuff before I head to the gym fasted. So, as long as I spray this on within that time frame, by the time I get to the gym, 45 minutes to an hour has passed and my fragrance has calmed down. So, that's totally fine. This is great casually. This is a great work fragrance. Office, office space, indoor setting. This will do really well. It's just a solid fragrance. I've really been enjoying this one. More people should try it for sure. Jaguar Pace Accelerate. Next is one of the two weakest fragrances in this video. It's like two hours and it's gone. 30 minutes and the projection's over. It sits close to the skin, but it smells amazing. It's basically like spraying yourself down with liquid watermelon Jolly Rancher is how you can look at it with Kenneth Cole reaction. Cheap, fresh, smells juicy fruit amazing. The epitome of what I like for the gym. It smells amazing and nobody's going to smell you. Because I'm not wearing it for anybody other than myself. And look, that first 20, 30 minutes, I'm loving the way it smells. After that, I can't really smell it anymore because, like I said, I just spray around the side and back of my neck. So once that, you know, little bit of projection calms down, I'm not really going to smell it. Like I said, it's more psychological. 
I just like to wear something fresh and clean and inoffensive to the gym because I wear a fragrance for every activity throughout my day. Every waking hour, I have a fragrance on somewhere for some reason. And when I'm at the gym, I like stuff like this. I have uses for these cheap, fresh, weak fragrances. And uh, that's pretty much the only use I have for this one. Out the shower, lounging around in the evenings and at the gym. Because to be honest with you, to go out and about and do your thing for the day as a daytime wear... It's not that good of an option unless you want to keep it with you and keep respraying every hour and a half to two hours. If you don't mind doing that, then yeah, it smells great, but you're going to need to keep reapplying. But I'll tell you what, for the gym, it's perfect. Kenneth Cole reaction. Next, this is probably the most versatile fragrance of this collection of fragrances that would be such a great option to go to work after the gym with. Like this can definitely be your gym scent of the day, your fragrance of the day for your work day, on into the evenings if you need a refresh. From Banana Republic, it's called 78 Vintage Green. So this has some beautiful green citrus. It's fresh. It's a little soapy. Green is in the name and green is in the scent profile. It has this mild green herbaceous tone without any of the spice that can come with a lot of herbal notes. So, so good. Think a slightly higher quality Mugler cologne without as much soapiness because there's not really a heavy hit of white floral neroli here, but it is kind of similar to Mugler cologne. Honestly, like I said, I think it's a little bit higher quality smell, as odd as that may sound, and some people may not agree with me, but this is one of the best Banana Republic Icon line fragrances because uh, the scent is just so great. And it's not real loud and in your face. It does last a decent amount. It's like a five to six hour fragrance on my skin. Heating up sweaty at the gym, yeah, three or four hours because it's going to burn off faster. But I don't know why I was in the mood for it. I, I wore it at least once. I want to say I might even wore it two or three times to the gym this past month. But really, really good stuff. If you come across this at the rack stores, it's worth your 20 to 23 bucks that it's going to cost, not just for the gym, but as an everyday fragrance. If you like fresh green fragrances, it's one of the better ones out there, especially for the money. And it's Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. Next, this is one of my favorite cheap fragrances overall. I typically don't wear it to the gym too much because it's so loud in the first hour, hour and a half, even to the two hour mark sometimes. But I was just in the mood for it. From Abercrombie & Fitch. It's called First Instinct Together. And some of you may be thinking, I thought you were a big fan of First Instinct Blue for the gym. Which... Indeed I am. It's in this video. But I was in the mood for this one randomly. I have multiple bottles of this. I love rocking this one out the shower. I love wearing this one casually in the summertime during the day. It's so good. God, I love this scent profile. Take YSLY, mix it with Invictus Aqua and the original First Instinct, and you have this fragrance. Love the color scheme, by the way. Invictus Aqua 2018 gradients, you know light clear blue to darker blue it's one of the more harsh and chemically synthetic fragrances in this video don't get me wrong but i just i can't get enough of this scent profile this is one that i can't stop smelling myself i have gotten my fair share of compliments with this one the wife enjoys this one as well this is a really good fragrance guys it still pops up at the rack stores don't hesitate if you see this one out there it's cheap they're discontinued now i think and it's it's a really, really, really good fragrance in my book. Not everybody's going to like it, obviously, but I really dig it. And uh happen to wear it to the gym. I might have worn it twice. I don't remember exactly how many times, but once for sure. So, for the gym, one of my favorites. Period. Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. And speaking of First Instinct Blue, we might as well go ahead and talk about it now. This is my jam right here. I've been spraying out of my 100 milliliter bottle instead of the 30 ml. I haven't even been putting my 30 ml in my backpack recently because I haven't needed to keep one in my bag. I've been able to spray and go about my business from here, from home base, and then go to the gym instead of needing to keep this on me to spray for when I go to the gym. I'm not saying that stuff still doesn't happen, but lately it hasn't been an issue. So I've been able to just spray out of my 100 ml bottle. This is stereotypical modern day blue fragrance stuff. That shower gel, mass appeal, green, fresh, spicy elements. Has all of that. Problem is it's weak. Three hours is pushing it with the longevity. That's at best. I have clocked it at three hours. But after about 30 to 45 minutes, the projection's gone. And it's really loud in that first 30 to 45 minutes. But it settles down quite a bit. 
You will smell it, but it's going to be faint. It's closer to the skin. Love the way this one smells, too. It's a shame that it's so weak, but I have uses for stuff like this. This is my favorite fragrance to wear to the gym. Has been for a long time now. If I could only wear one fragrance to the gym moving forward forever and ever, that's just, that is my gym fragrance, it would be this. This is my favorite. I've gone through another 30 ml previously, keeping it in my gym bag. Eventually I'll go through that 30 ml, and one day I'll go through this 100 ml, because I spray this one on a regular basis. I love this stuff. My favorite for the gym. Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Blue. So this one keeps making repeat appearances, and I think that's going to be a theme moving forward with Kenneth Cole Blue. So Kenneth Cole Blue is a very simplistic fragrance overall. Get this to focus. That would just be awesome if it would focus, right? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't want to. Maybe it will when I do that. There we go. So this is a synthetic orange. It's aquatic notes. Synthetic also. Synthetic musk. It's pretty much it. That's the notes. That's what you smell the whole time. It's like a three to four hour fragrance. It's a more aquatic version, I guess you could say, of Versace Mano Fresh, and it does it well. I used to have a 30 ml years ago, rebought it, with, got this 50 ml with another 30 ml that's still sealed that came in a bonus pack with this at Walmart. Saw the bonus pack at Walmart not that long ago, actually. They still sell them. So 20 bucks, you can get this 50 ml plus a 30 ml. 20 bucks. Just throwing it out there. It's a great daytime fragrance. It's nothing special. It's clean, it's inoffensive, it's aquatic, it's got some citrus going on, it's it's quite nice. My wife enjoys this one. I love wearing it. I like wearing it during the day, I like wearing it out the shower, and I really like wearing it to the gym. I wear this one a few times every month to the gym. Uh, it pretty much stays on the ro in the little rotation area for the gym fragrances. Um, this isn't moving anytime soon because I just keep going back to it. If you haven't tried it, I'm not saying you're missing out on anything special, but I really dig it. For the gym, it's fantastic. It's Kenneth Cole Blue. I want to say I only wore this one time. I think. I think I only wore it one time this month. This is Sean John, I Am King. So what's different about Sean John, I Am King from the rest? I don't remember if it's passion fruit or dragon fruit, but there's a sweet fruity note that makes this extremely fruity fresh and sweet at the top. Typically not something I would always want to wear to the gym for the sweetness, but it's not overdone, and it's pretty damn weak. That's the sad part about this fragrance. It smells incredible, but it's like a two-hour fragrance, and it's gone. Like I said before, I have uses for this. Out the shower, going to the gym, and such fits perfectly, but I'd love to wear this one casually and as a daily wear, but some fragrances are so weak that it's tedious. It's, re it's so repetitive to have to refresh so often that it's just not worth having with you for the day. And that's the issue here. I would need to get about four hours out of a fragrance for me to say, oh, I'll just keep it with me and refresh. Two hours, that's pushing it because it's going to be like almost every hour, hour and a half I'm going to feel like I should spray. And that's just, that's like body mist type of stuff. That's just too much. So for the gym, it's perfect. For everything else, it's pretty much useless in many ways. For my lifestyle anyways and my taste and the way I like to operate with fragrances like this outside of the gym and relaxing in the evenings after the shower I don't have daytime use for this besides the gym which is sad once again it's sad because it smells so damn good if I could just get like two more hours let me get four hours out of this one man I would wear this one so much more I really would but for now it's decent for the gym Sean John I am king last this one continues to surprise me with how much I like it the $13 blind buy, David Beckham Classic. Got this at Burlington. You see that juice level dropping. This is another one that sadly, it's like a two hour fragrance and it's gone and it smells incredible. This one I don't think would ever leave my weekly rotation table if I could get like two more hours out of it. It's so good. It really is. It's like a slightly more citrus and woody version of Sean John 3 a.m. in many ways because it has that tonic water smell it's zesty it's a little bit of a creamy wood wood tone to it very aromatic without being soapy this is really good stuff Sean John 3 a.m. is better and you can get it for around the same money I would say get that but I really really dig this scent profile it's fantastic for 
at the gym. It's fantastic out the shower in the evenings. And this is one that almost makes me want to keep it with me for a daily. Because I did that when I did the review for this one. I kept having to respray every two hours. That's how I know I get two hours. It was gone at the two hour mark every time. And I kept refreshing. I refreshed. I wore it to the gym that day. I wore it at the shower that evening. So that was one, two, and I did four refreshes during the day. So six times I sprayed this fragrance on in that one day because the longevity is so poor. It's unfortunate because, like I said, it smells amazing. I'm not saying others out there won't get more than two hours. It's all I seem to get, unfortunately. But like I said, I have uses for performance levels like this, especially when it's a fragrance that I really like how it smells. And that's the case here. I really like the way David Beckham Classic smells. Well, that was this past month's gym rotation. Cheap, weak, fresh fragrances. That's what I like to wear to the gym. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What did you guys rock to the gym this month or this past week or in the last couple of days? What's the kind of stuff that you like to wear to the gym? I'd love to read about it. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the nine that I wore to the gym recently and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. As long as you're okay with them being on the weaker side of performance, they're great for the gym. Have a good one, guys.